Hello everyone, today we are diving into the fascinating world of second order circuits. But before that, let's quickly know the difference between first order and second order circuits. First point is the first order circuits consist of a single storage element such as a capacitor or an inductor. Things get complex with second order circuits as they consist of two storage elements and these two storage elements cannot be represented by an equivalent single element such as RLC circuit, RL circuit or RC circuits. The second difference is first order circuits are described by first order differential equation. That means they involve first derivative or first order derivative while the second order circuits are described by second order differential equation as they include second derivative. So here is the circuit first order circuit with Vs a resistor R and a capacitor a single storage element and the circuit for second order circuit is with a voltage source a resistor an inductor and as well as a capacitor with two storage elements now understanding how to find initial and final values in second order circuits is crucial let's break it down the initial values refer to the circuits condition at the beginning when t is equal to zero which is called switching time when the switch changes its position where t is equal to zero negative denotes the time just before the switching time and t is equal to zero positive denotes the time just after the switching time there are two key points to keep in mind in determining the initial conditions that we consider the variables that do not their change their values abruptly first one is capacitor voltage that is always continuous so it's v at time zero positive is equal to v at time zero negative that means the voltage across the capacitor just before and after the switching time is equal because it does not change abruptly similarly the second one is inductor current that is also continuous so it means that the current across the inductor before and after the switching time is equal as it does not change its value abruptly now to put theory into practice let's work through a numerical example imagine we have a second order circuit with specific parameters resistor capacitor inductor and a voltage source here is a switch which changes its position at t is equal to zero which is the switching time here is the inductor current and this is voltage across the capacitor and we will calculate the initial and final values step by step concerning the inductor current and capacitor voltage now given all these uh, values we have to find first the inductor current now b part is we have to find current and voltage just after the switching time and c part is we have to find final values of current and voltage in a part we have written zero positive because i zero positive is equal to i zero negative let's come to the solution at first when time is less than zero or time is equal to zero negative just before the switching time we assume the steady state condition and at steady state capacitor acts as open circuit and inductor acts as short circuit we will redraw this circuit by replacing capacitor by an open circuit and replacing inductor by a short circuit the switch here was open when time is less than zero now simplify this circuit again the capacitor branch is excluded and inductor is short circuited now we have two resistors with a voltage source of 12 volts so this is the final circuit now to find inductor current and capacitor voltage we have to apply kvl which says minus 12 volts here define the polarity plus 10 and i is the current in the loop plus 2i is equal to 0 simplifying it further minus 12i from here i is equal to 1 amperes so this current at time just after and before the switching time is same i0 positive is equal to i0 negative is equal to 1 amperes because current does not change its value abruptly now to find voltage so here is the capacitor voltage v and this capacitor voltage 
is parallel to the resistor to ohms as we know voltage in parallel is same so we will find the voltage across this two ohm resistor that is two volts as we have solved part a and we will write our solution of current and voltage here and these values will be used further in the solution of this problem let's move to the part b which is just after the switching time and the switch is closed at t is equal to zero so redraw this circuit as the switch is closed so there is a short circuit here here is the current flowing through the inductor and there is a short circuit path in parallel to this resistor and whole current will flow through this path as it offers no resistance and this resistor will be eliminated because current will not pass through it so we have removed this resistor so this is the final circuit this is the capacitor voltage and inductor current that is our focus as we know the inductor voltage is equal to L di over dt. Here di over dt will be inductor voltage over inductance value. Similarly, I is equal to C dv over dt that is capacitor current. dv over dt will be equal to capacitor current over capacitance value. So apply kvl in this loop with current I that is minus 12 volts plus value of voltage across inductor vl plus capacitor voltage vc is equal to zero as time is equal to zero positive so inductor voltage at time just after the switching time is equal to 12 minus initial value of voltage 12 minus as we know from part a v zero positive is equal to two volts so vl zero positive will be 10 volts put the values of vl that is 10 and inductance value is 0 0.4 henrys and the result is 25 amperes over second for part b we have found the value of di at zero positive time over dt is equal to 25 amperes over seconds now this is the current inductor current which comes at this node with red dot and this current will divide into the capacitor and resistor v is equal to ir and i is equal to v over r v at zero positive from part a is equal to 2 and value of resistor is equal to 2 ohms so i is equal to 1 amperes as we know from part a current is equal to 1 amperes and this i is equal to 1 amperes and whole current 1 amperes comes at resistance uh, 2 ohm resistance and here at capacitor there is no current flowing current at resistance is 1 amperes and the capacitor current is 0 amperes put the value here ic is equal to 0 and the capacitance is 1 over 20 that is equal to 0 let's move to part c so at this time t is equal to infinity this steady state condition has been reached at steady state we know capacitor acts as open circuit and inductor acts as short circuit let's redraw the circuit by replacing capacitor L with open circuit and inductor with short circuit here the switch is closed and so again the resistor in parallel to this short path will be removed because current passed through this short circuit only and it will not flow through this resistor so remove this resistor from here this is the final circuit with 12 volt source and 2 ohms resistor we have to find current and voltage at t is equal to infinity now apply kvl here minus 12 volts plus 2 into i is equal to 0 from here i is equal to 12 over 2 is equal to 6 amperes this is the value of current i at t is equal to infinity which is 6 amperes from here v infinity is equal to i into r and 6 into 2 ohms is equal to 12 volts so v infinity is equal to 12 volts so the part c solution is i current and voltage at time t is equal to infinity that is final values of voltage and current is 6 amperes and that is final values of voltage and current so these are our findings